Hey all Irix guy here back again with another unboxing video. Now today what I have is the Whistler 1600 watt power inverter. Now this comes in a variety of different sizes. I got the 1600 watt because I'm going to use it in conjunction with a uh, with an off the grid solar panel solution, solar energy solution. So I'll have batteries and solar panels and then this to actually take from the battery, convert that into uh, into AC to run computers and LED TVs and other items that I, that I want to take off the grid. You can check the link within this video's description. I'm going to detail all pieces of that solar panel project. You'll be able to see how I integrate this into the system as well as the other equipment I'm using. But if you didn't want to use this for a solar panel solution, for a solar energy solution rather, you could use it in a, in a truck, in a car, in a boat and connect it to the battery and it could enable you to uh, to power AC devices. So again, this is 1600 watt, it comes in different sizes. And this is just the unboxing video, so again, check the link. You can find within this video description, you can you can find information there. I'm gonna post, uh, like I said, all of my other videos and some of those will be this actually in action. So this, this video, I'm just taking out of the box because I wanted to show you what you get uh, when you order this. I can tell you immediately the build quality of this uh, seems to be really nice. It's definitely got a, uh, a very well-made feel to it from a cosmetic perspective. I'm just going to put this back in. So that's everything that was in the box. Uh, but let's look at the unit itself here. So we didn't get any screws, so if you plan to mount it, something you have to you have to bring your own, but it's got an owner's manual. Tells you how to operate it. Input to DC, input DC 12 volts. So this, if you were connecting it to uh, to your battery, these are the obviously the positive and the and the negative lead. It's got two fans in there, which is nice. I like to see that. Uh, something else you get that's really neat on this one. You get the ability to run a remote. Now this did not come with the remote. So that would be, I guess, an add-on accessory if you chose to do that. It has a USB port, which is nice. So if you want to charge uh, cell phones, etc. And then you get three AC outputs. So that's really nice. And an on-off switch. It's got a, uh, guess it'll show the voltage there, which is really cool. A 1600 watt power inverter Whistler. And that's something else with this right here, you know, you could you could mount this on a wall using those, uh, it's got, you can put a screw there, screw there, screw there, screw there. Or it's made, as you can see, to, uh, to sit on a, on a flat surface. Maybe you wanted to attach it to a flat surface with screws or just, just have it sit there. I don't know, you know, what your configuration may be, but I will tell you out of the box, uh, first impressions are definitely very favorable. I think it looks really nice for a uh, for an electrical piece of equipment. And obviously something you may want to be aware of, and you can check the other videos in the owner's manual. Uh, one thing that, that, it, that a lot of people suggested, be sure to use the right type of wire to connect this to your battery, because if you use a, a poor quality wire or a wire that's, that's not a large enough gauge, that it's probably not going to work that well. So you need to make sure you you've got the appropriate uh, the appropriate wire type there for your positive and negative. But yeah, just you know, great build quality and can't wait to uh, can't wait to get it up and running. So again, check the link in the video's description. You can find the link to order this online, as well as all my other uh, solar energy project related items. But yeah, couldn't be happier with the build quality. The build quality and the appearance of it. I mean, it looks looks really nice. 
something you may want to do and I'll go ahead and say this if you're if you're planning to use something like this it would probably be in your best interest to use something like a uh, like a kill a watt and you can find that within this video's description link as well but at a high level what it'll enable you to do is measure the uh, the the watts of your various components and, and measure it while they're powering on and powering off because typically if you turn on a computer or a TV it's going to be a surge as it starts and then it'll kind of it'll kind of uh, balance out but make sure that you're not plugging a device into this because this comes in different sizes you wouldn't want to plug a device in that was going to it was going to exceed the capacity of this particular power inverter. So thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.